Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Carle slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shah, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. riding a bike it's
He's a traveling salesman or something. No suit. 47. This is one of the Mumbai chores. My records show a few residential complaints about a new tenant in the building. Something related to strange behavior. Might be worth looking into. that it will be appreciated on that television. Just the scope right. I'll never make the shot. Well, well. It appears we have a rival assassin in Mumbai, and he's training his sights on Darwood Rangan. By the looks of it, I'd say we're dealing with a local operator known as the Kashmirian. This view find are working, I will miss the shot for sure. Karen Dar, aka the Kashmirian, was born in the US, but fled to his mother's native land, India, 20 years ago, following an FBI investigation into a string of serial killings in Texas. He adopted a new identity here, and now works as a gun for hire for local mobsters. But who would want Rangan dead?
Taxi, taxi, let's go, sir. Together another epic, huh? I can't wait to see the result. It's a lot lighter than the first. Yeah, I've got some weird noises here. I'll go see what's up. Ah, that's awesome. Is the fan good to go? I know they're still trying to find the right lines for the shoot, but in case they do, you know what's funny? Gregory Hunter! Has anyone seen Gregory Hunter recently? Have a good day.
are you going to be done mixing those colors? I mean, how long can it take to smudge out a few blues and reds? I'm creating art here. 70% of the work is finding the right colors. Color mixing is an entire art form on its own. It takes time. Yeah, well, get a move on. Mr. Rongan wants you to go and get him as soon as you're done mixing your fancy colors there. You got it? Fine. If only I could compromise a little with my artistic integrity. Ah! Mr. Hussein, go on upstairs and wait for Mr. Rangan. I'm sure he'll be there shortly. It's me. Just to let you know that the house artist hey there, is ready sir. to continue painting. Listen here, pal. I'm sorry, but you're not getting through. Ah, Mr. Hussein, ready at last. Uh, did you get a shave? Oh, well, never mind. Come with me to the lounge. After you, Mr. Rangan. Magnificent use of colors and form. Kya baat hai? Okay. If the new have piece catches my possible picture like this, it's not a I will have concept. nothing short of a masterpiece today, of my sir. hands. I'll be the envy of everyone. I guarantee a perfect execution, Mr. Rangan. All right. Chalo, let's get this done with. I expect these to be the final right, impressions. You know, Let's this see if the aim of our Kashmirian friend is true. Hmm. Look, once the word gets out and my art appreciating friends see it, your phone will be ringing off the hook. I can't wait. Hold your breath for a moment, Mr. Rangan. That's the reason I told you I wouldn't pay for the commission, by the way. I'm not stingy. No, no, not at all. But if I'm already paying you in exposure, hmm? well, let's not overdo it, huh? you know? I prefer cash over exposure. Clench your fist, please. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> but sometimes, exposure can be worth more than just money. Because in this case, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Just wait and see. When you're done with this job, the contracts will be rolling in. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Rangan. Can you look up a bit? <laughs> Thank you. That shot came from the tools. It looks like the Kashmirian finally got a clear line of fire. Darwood Rangan is dead, and not even by your hand, 47. What will you think of next? Hold up, 47. The Kashmirian is on the move. He's heading for another flat inside the Chawls. This might be worth investigating. If nothing else, we may get a lead on who his client is. The Kashmirian is moving to an apartment in the Chawl. It's facing the laundry area. I suggest we find out what he's up to, 47.
47. It appears the Kashmirian is using this room as a base of operations. Let's see what he's up to in here. So, the Kashmirian is scoping out a bridge in an area primarily used as a laundry business. Interesting. It recently changed ownership and now belongs to Vanya Shaw. It looks like he's found a new target and is waiting for her to get on the bridge. Perhaps your mentoring days aren't entirely over yet. The new foreman looks to be a dedicated worker. He hasn't left the office since he got here. Oh, no, no. That's not it. I was up there in the office when he came in. One of the guards told him that the slum queen wanted to talk to him. The guy turned all grey and started stammering. Wait. He didn't know she had taken over the business? I don't think so. The guard also told him what happened to the previous foreman. I'm pretty sure that's why he's not coming out. So he's waiting for nightfall so he can slip out? Probably. Sadly for him, we work day and night here. He's never leaving. Not alive, anyway. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but could you please get the F out? where the papers are. If I could just find them, it would make my life a lot easier. But the old foreman, he hid them somewhere. If I knew why, I wouldn't have to look for them, would I? Uh, what on earth was that? Uh. <coughs> I need now is a killer. I haven't met the new foreman yet. Take a break. You deserve the rest. Oh, thank you. My arms are about to fall off. I'm ready for my meeting with Miss Shah now. Miss Shah's been waiting for this all day. 
The foreman's ready to meet up with Miss Shaw on the bridge. We're heading there now. Follow me to the bridge. Have a oh, great hello. day. Hello. Don't just stand there. This isn't going to wash itself. Six, seven hours. Boy, kapde gande hai abhi bhi. You look tired. You need to put in more effort. Why don't effort. you take a break? That's not even oh, close to good enough. Kind of you. Thanks. Aja, it's just through here. Miss Shah will be along soon. Better get your shit together if you don't want to end up like the old foreman. So, that's the new guy, huh? How long is he going to last? You think? A week? Depends on what the queen decides to do with him, I guess. He looks tough enough. Might last a week in the pits, maybe even two. Maybe he's been working really hard on that report of his. Maybe she'll actually keep him on. I can't imagine that. He's been hiding inside that little office of his all day, afraid to come out. I don't think he has what it takes. Ah, the new foreman finally graces us with his presence. Mm. What do you have to report? Well done, 47. You've managed to lure Vanya Shaw out into the open. I see a lot Anything of dead weight. Anything could happen weight. here. Hmm. I've made a similar observation. Tell me more. Well, the objective is... find the root of the problem, work to get close to it, and then eradicate it. I like your thinking. How would you approach the task you see before you? My usual method is... prepare intensely. Study the problem. Learn everything I can. Analyze all approaches. The idea is to gently nudge people to do what I want. And then, once the objective is in my sights, perfect execution. Not afraid to spill some blood in the process? Not at all. In fact, I find that happens quite often. I like you, Foreman. I think this could be the beginning of a very fruitful relationship. I aim to please, Miss Shah. You think I don't see you down there, little ants? Scurrying about at your own pace? Taking unnecessary breaks? Drinking my... What? Uh, you regret this! Uh, no! They found kill on Vanya Shaw. You think I don't see you down there, little ants? Scurrying about at your own pace? Taking unnecessary breaks? Drinking my water? Wasting my money? You have had it easy up until now. But your new foreman will bring some order to this rebellious behavior. The days of slacking are over. You hear me? Oh my god. That is Vanya Shah taking care of 47. Are you, there? Are you planning yeah. on outsourcing yeah. all your work to the Kashmirian from now on? The Kashmirian is on the move again. It's paid off to follow him so far. Maybe he will lead us to the maelstrom. 
Where did you leave the costume for Dawood Rangan? I can't find it anywhere. Oh, I took care of it already. It was a rush order, so I washed it when I came in this morning. It's drying upstairs. And you took extra care with it, right? The man who dropped it off said... ...was supposed to be used in the movie they're shooting in the town. Of course. I don't want to hear of that. Oh my God, I cannot wait to see that new Rangan movie they're shooting over at the tower. How can you support a man like that? He is a crook with a fire and everything. You don't know me, but your boss will want to talk to me. By now, he should have found out about the unfortunate events of Rangan, Shah. But I am the one responsible. Mad? No, no, no. On the contrary. I considered a successful job interview. Just tell me where to go. Ah, yes, of course. I'll be there in no time. Is he? I need to shave. Why isn't the shop open yet? Find out what that was. All right.
You want to get through here? I'll need to frisk you first. Just stand still and it'll be over soon. Okay, you're good to go. So, you're the one who called. The boss was intrigued. He'll see you. Better make it good. I'll do my very best. Come with me. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. You've got some balls, man. Killing two of the city's most ruthless people is a job interview. <laughs> That's something else. The powder's in his room, and all we do is grab it. Not that way. Hope just don't stray again. Got it? Uh -huh. All right, it's just in here. Good luck. I have to do a quick check before you pass by me. Those are the rules. You up for that? Huh? This will be over in no time. Ah, well done for cooperating. You can move now. Mysterious stranger enters the lion's den. I guess you know who I am by now. The Maelstrom. Indeed. Two of my most trusted allies are dead. Childhood friends, lifelong companions. And now you're here. I always see my contracts through to the end. Admirable. Really, it is. I'm assuming Vanya put out the initial contract that drew you here. She never did like Darwood. Perhaps a power play while our plans are in hiatus? But why kill her then? Unless Darwood made a counteroffer. That would be the smart move. But then you heard the rumors about the return of the Maelstrom. And so you took a chance. You figured if Darwood was assassinated, I would put two and two together. Eventually, I would have to teach the Slum Queen a lesson. You took it upon yourself to help me before I asked. A show of skill. A move to get to the top. Is that right, boy? You can only kill so many mobsters before wanting bigger challenges. Darwood and Banya lost their way once they returned here to Mumbai. I blame myself for their failures. I should not have let them go back without me. They got lost in their egotistical pursuits. Darwood thinking he could use up my legend through his movies. Vanya assuming some mythological regency over the people of the slums. They forgot that which mattered the most. What was that? Legacy. In time, you become your actions. Vanya became cruel. Darwood became a hollow man. I wonder 
what we will become, what shape we will take in our final days, exposed and roar in the eyes of the universe. We can't stay unseen forever. Death comes for us all, my friend. That it does. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. Just pat you down here. All good, brother. On your way now. Oh, have you, you seen the picture of the barber? That little yeah. fat boy who lived above the He was literally the about to shit himself when we brought him down here. Boss had insisted on blindfolding him. I think he must have thought we were going to kill him or something. Sir, this is ridiculous. I have business on the hill. There's no way for me to go around. You, you can't just go to the hill like that. Oh, you. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, you do. According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place? This was our prison, 
Where father trained us, shaped us into killers for providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this. We both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject Six. Your name is Subject Six. And what is our purpose? To take them all down.